Lake Powell and Lake Mead uh, downstream are, are two of the largest reservoirs in the whole country. And they're at very low levels, perhaps even the lowest levels since they were constructed. This signals a very long period of dryness. It takes a long time for a big reservoir to empty. So this is a, a long dry period for the West. And it's a particularly dry year uh, in all of the West as well. Primarily, the warmer temperatures with the warmer climate are increasing the evaporation and evapotranspiration off of the plants so that less of the precipitation makes it into the rivers. It evaporates back up into the atmosphere. Well, I think it's known as a, a place for water recreation and boating and fishing out in the middle of a desert, essentially. And um, so it makes it kind of a garden spot that way. But I, uh, it's, it's becoming more and more difficult to access Lake Powell. And Lake Powell is diminishing in size and, and its recreational opportunities. So I think for the recreation industry in that region, it's going to be pretty impactful. But uh, there's definitely going to be impacts to cities and agriculture in, in Arizona and Nevada and California and, and other parts of the West. So what we're seeing is that the cities are preparing for a drier future and, and, and dry events such as this one. Agriculture in the basin, which uses most of the water from the Colorado River, it is probably struggling more in the long term 